A big Super Lotto jackpot will be up for grabs Wednesday because nobody matched all the winning numbers in last night's drawing. Here they are in case you nailed one of the smaller prizes like some people we know. 16, 20, 28, 31, 41 with mega number 19. The jackpot, 46 million bucks. For Wednesday, it's expected to be $57 million. Now, Joe said he only had one I hate one to correct number. you, but I, that, it wasn't the mega number, so I didn't even win anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Nothing. Let me take back my, what I just said. My $2, <laughs> and normally I just do one. It has to be $40 million or more for me to even get involved, usually. Oh, yeah, you know, of course. I don't want the small well, change. <laughs> 10, 20, 30 million. That's just not, that's not worth my while. But, I do. I do. Well, okay. <laughs> 40 Your local news is next. Coming up, terrifying moments for homeowners. A brush fire threatens a neighborhood in the North County. Deputies open fire, killing a man who allegedly ran at them with a knife. U.S. troops arrest a man suspected of masterminding a deadly bombing as President Bush calls on the nation to support the continued fight against Iraq. The news at 11 is coming up next. NBC 739 News at 11, Weekend Edition. It will take time and require sacrifice. Yet we will do what is necessary. We will spend what is necessary to achieve this essential victory in the war on terror. The president addresses the nation telling Americans there is no turning back in Iraq. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Mills. And I'm Kathy. The U.S. is still working to bring stability to Afghanistan. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld is touring the country. He made a visit to a city in the eastern region where 80 American troops are stationed. They've been fighting Taliban guerrillas and helping with reconstruction projects in the area. Four Americans have died in combat there in the last month. Rumsfeld said there are still concerns about security at Afghanistan's borders and terrorists slipping into that country. Lieutenant Governor Cruz Bustamante says he is donating nearly $4 million in contributions from unions and Native American tribes to the No on Proposition 54 campaign. Originally, he was going to use a finance loophole to put the money toward last year's run for Lieutenant Governor. Critics said it was wrong and even sued. Now he says it will go to fight Proposition 54, a ballot measure which limits the collection of most race-based data. Prop 54's biggest supporter finds that huge donation unfair, to say the least. I think if it's illegal for him, that too is illegal. A Bustamani aide says the candidate wants to avoid a political fight over the donations. Israeli helicopters were on attack in Gaza tonight. They fired two missiles at the home of a Hamas militant. Eleven people were wounded. There's no word yet on whether anyone was killed. It's unclear if the Israelis hit the person they were after. Israel has carried out a series of strikes on Hamas members the last few weeks. An unattended suitcase led to a road closure right outside street scene this afternoon. Officers wanted to make sure it was not some kind of dangerous device that someone left. As a precaution, they shut a section of market and closed one of the gates into the event. It turned out to be nothing. Three-day party started again at 2 this afternoon. As it's been for the last few years, Sunday is open to all ages. And for some, that means families. It's all about the kids. Street scene ends at 9 o'clock tonight. Big Denver at home It'd be a different story. Those folks have a lot of faith in their team. <laughs> That's good you. to see. It's only week number one. That's what I like. I tell you. And those poor Chargers, the schedule maker, not kind to them at all. I mean, early on. KC and then Denver? Early on. But yeah. last year they played an easy schedule to start and then it got tougher. So we'll yeah. see. It's okay. only one week. Yeah, mm -hmm. just keep yes. that in mind. No more. And a man we think is very bright and also hardworking, Joe Lazura, is up next with uh, your Sunday forecast.